Hey, welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prep where we make prepping fun. In this video, we're going to be juicing. We're going to be juicing a new recipe. We're going to be talking about the cowboys and why they just really irritate me. And we're going to talk about this upcoming trip. So stay tuned. All right, hello everybody. This is a juice time video with yours truly. And this is Sunday. I want to say it's December the, yes, December 22nd. And I just got finished watching the Cowboys of Dallas get their butts whooped by the Eagles of Philadelphia. And for those that follow me all the time, you know I am a diehard Cowboy fan. That is like the only hour, well, the football game is like three hours. That is the only three hour of TV I really watch a week. And you know what? This season, i just been wasting a bunch of time. But I still love them. <laughs> I hate to admit it. I love the doggone cowboys. Ugh, all my life, too. So anyway, I um, we're getting ready to leave. We're packing, and what I'm doing right now, we had some um, we had some stuff in the refrigerator. I was like, dang, I need, to, I need to juice this stuff before we go. Because by the time we get back, this stuff is not going to be any good. So we're going to sit and talk for a while, okay? We'll just sit and chat and uh, and chat it up and talk it up for a minute, okay? Y'all good with that? I hope so. All right, so. So today is the day before our huge trip. Um, I'm optimistically nervous. Okay, I guess that's probably the best way I can describe it. I haven't flown in a very, no, oh, I'm sorry. I haven't flown in a very, very, very long time. Uh, and because of that, you know, anytime you haven't done something in a while, you're going to get a little nervous about it. It's just, it's just human nature, right? Yeah, that's human nature. So, uh, anyway, let's do some let's do some prep juice. Uh, some prep work for our juices. Uh, I'm just going to juice everything that's in the refrigerator, which is pineapple, oranges, grapefruit, and uh, grapes. Y'all can see the stockings hanging behind me. Oh, the snow is beginning to fall. And a day of Thanksgiving is come and gone. Silver bells begin to ring. Hear the children say, Silent night will never just the same. Stockings are hung. By the chimney with care. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Eyes can close eyes in the sky. There is happiness in their eyes. Cause Christmas time. Whoa, Christmas time. Yeah, Christmas time is here. Little Brian tonight for y'all. <laughs> anyway, uh, I didn't get a, I didn't get a bowl, so I can put my stuff in. What was I thinking? Of course, Jennifer has moved my stuff. Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we're getting ready. We're packing. We're about to get up out of here for our cross the country visit to everybody. We're gonna hit up like. I mean, like five states, literally. Um, and like I said, optimistically uh, excited. Uh, cautious, of course. Anytime you're traveling, you always got to be cautious. Uh, we went to go see a whole bunch of family today. Family and friends were like, hey, come see us before you leave and blah, blah, blah. And my mom is really excited about us coming. Um, let's see what it is. You know what? Maybe I'll do some of these lines. I never put lines in the, uh, in the juice. I got a few lines over here that we're not going to eat and they will definitely go bad before we get back because y'all know we eat a lot of uh fresh produce veggies nuts and seeds around here and because of that we keep we keep stuff around and i'm looking at four avocados that we need to eat now i'm i'm, I'm not eating any avocados yet that's too um it's gonna be too rich too fatty too um too much fiber <laughs> and uh, I've already shut it down I shut it down hours ago we uh we ate pizza today and um, I shut that down because 
I don't want any. I'll probably be fasting all day tomorrow. You know, while we we're while we we're um, traveling, because I don't want any problems. Because I get I get nervous. I have like, well, I have diagnosed IBS. Oh my God! You talking about ooh wee? And I don't want no problems on that plane. And you passengers don't want that smoke. I promise you that. <laughs> Jeff was like, oh, but God, baby. She like, she don't care. She don't get embarrassed about stuff. I wish. So anyway, um, let's talk about the Cowboys. Let's talk, let's talk about what I feel. And this is only my opinion. This is what I feel needs to happen with the Cowboy, Dallas Cowboy organization, okay? What needs to happen is, and if you can get a message to this gentleman, Mr. Jerry Jones, I need you to step down as the general manager, and I need you to go get Bill Parcells and hire him as the general manager. And I need you to some kind of way get Bill Belichick, I mean Belichick from New England and get him for Dallas so we can win some championships. Okay. Um, other than that, I think Jerry Jones is way too involved in the team. Um, I mean, it's one thing to own the team, but then to make yourself the general manager and, you know, nothing can happen. It's just like, you know, they got rid of a kicker, which was good because he just he was having a rough year. And, um, you know, Jason Garrett was like, yeah, we're going to reevaluate the kicker this year. This is like three or four weeks ago. Yeah, we're going to reevaluate the kicker. And then Jerry Jones was like, oh, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> you know, I'm like, you don't give people the authority. It's, it's one thing to give people a job title. But then when you don't give them the authority, and I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to whomever has businesses or whomever is like in a managerial position right now, it's okay to, you know, to to be in, in charge. But when you hire people or you have subordinates, give them the authority that they need in order to do their job. Okay? Because if you don't do that and you're micromanaging people, your organization is not going to be as good as it could be, in my opinion. All right, when you give people the room to grow and to do the things that they need to do, then guess what? They usually flourish. They usually take on the challenge and they, you know, exceed what what your expectations were. But as long as you're sitting around and you're micromanaging and you're trying to make sure that, you know, this gets done and get that gets done, nothing gets done, you know? So this, you know, this message for people who are really in charge and all that kind of stuff, if you got your own business or if you're in, you know, upper management and stuff, leave people alone. Let them do what they need to do. And then if the job doesn't get done, then you can reevaluate or you can train more. You know, I believe in training because getting rid of people, people are too hard, good people are too hard to find. You know, I'm finding that out at my, at, at my company where I already knew that, but we're finding that out because we're we're looking for a, uh, a new hire and people won't even come to doggone interviews. That's how much people don't want a doggone come work, you know. In, uh, in companies these days, corporate America these days. All right, I'll be back on the camera in a minute, y'all. Just bear with me. Coming right back. Not asking for a friend. I'm right here. Here I am. Never fret. I got three of these to do. So I'm going to do these real, real quick. I bought these suckers and they were they were good to go. But they've been in my refrigerator so long they've gotten starting to develop little sugar spots, which means they're starting to go bad. So I'm going to cut them a little deeper tonight. And after you produce, you know, produce a whole bunch of juice in a year period of time, which I've been doing all year, it doesn't take long at all to process fruit. Oh my gosh. When I first started doing this, it would take me like 20, 30 minutes to cut up a pineapple. Now, y'all see how long it takes me. Woo, woo, I'm done. I mean, like, cat quick almost. I'm cut the bottom off like that. And all this stuff. Normally, I would compost this. Because we're getting out of here tomorrow, and I, I may take that out there and compost it. But because we're getting out of here tomorrow, I don't really have time to be messing around. I mean, I do. It's the fact that do I want to. And the next question is, do I want to go to sleep tonight? Or do I want to sleep on the plane? I think I want to go to sleep. It's like 8, it's going on 8.30 right now. And we're going to leave out of here. I'd rather be here at 2 o'clock in the morning. So the question is, do I want to go to sleep? And the answer is yes. I did come in a little earlier and I took me a nap. But you know, it's nothing like being fresh for a trip. I don't know why I like being fresh. I'll get up in the morning, I'll take me a shower. You know, I'll probably get up like one-ish, 115 probably. Get me a good shower in. You know, give me give me a good shave. I wanna be fresh for the trip. I wanna be looking nice and neat and good. Um, and then uh, you know, 
Yes, what it is after that. I need another bowl. I need a nice size bowl. I don't need no raggedy mess. Everything is raggedy. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Everything I say is always raggedy. For something I don't I don't like or agree, I just like it's raggedy. Like the Dallas Cowboys. They they played raggedy tonight. And you know every every game I've seen them lose this year this season, they have had an opportunity to win. First and foremost, they've been in every game. It wasn't like, you know, any game was a particular blowout that I recall. I don't remember seeing any blowouts this year. But I do remember seeing games that, you know, they had all kind of chances where they could have won and didn't because of just not taking advantage of opportunities. Which I want to, um, you know, I really want to talk about that. I want to talk about you guys taking advantage of opportunities that you have in your life. You know, when, when things come your way, opportunities come your way, you got to take those opportunities, okay? No matter what somebody else may do or may think in that situation, you have got to take the opportunity because those opportunities may not come back around, especially the good ones, because good opportunities are hard to find, okay? So, you know, learn learn from the get and I try, I try to learn from every situation I'm ever in. Um, even when I'm, you know, watching my favorite sports team, which is the Jones Cowboys, uh, even when I'm watching them, I try to see, you know, I try to see life lessons in that kind of stuff, you know, because I always be learning, you know, the ABCs of clothes, they be like, always be closing the a ABLs of life, always be learning, always be learning different things, always try be trying different things, always try to get ahead, always, you know, and with your preps. You know, always be learning. Always be learning things that you can do different or better. Can y'all see me? Okay, there we go. I, you know, always be learning things that you can do different, things that you can do better. Because um, you never, you just never know when you're going to need different skill sets or you may, you know, need an answer or something. You just never know. So always be learning, you know. Um, and always, you know, always be planning out your next move. Alrighty. So anyway, we're almost done processing this fruit. I'm going to get the juicer out and I'm going to juice. I'm going to blend this juice up. Well, it's not blending. I'm going to juice it. And uh, shoot, me and Jennifer are about to enjoy some juice and probably go to sleep for a couple hours. You see, it's, it'll be 9, 9, 15 by the time I get finished with all this. Clean up time and all that good stuff. And uh, shoot, go lay down for about... 19, 11, 12, 1, 19, 11, 12, 1. So, okay, that's about a good three and a half, four hours. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. So, y'all probably won't see this until, until tomorrow or the next day. I'm trying something new because um, what I'm going to start doing, instead of doing these premieres like I've been doing, uh, and y'all can look forward to this, I'm just going to be posting my videos. Um, simply because it seems like the premiere is hurting me. You know, we're gonna we're gonna try it this week, and we're gonna see. I'm not gonna do any premieres this week because we're gonna test something. And if this works, then I know that the premieres, even though they're good for getting us together, they're hurting me in the long run. Simply because uh, most of you guys are watching them all at one time, which is giving us a get a big boost in the on the premiere. But then after that. We lose all of the momentum as far as the chat and the conversation and all that good stuff. So, we're going to, uh, we're not going to do any premieres this week. And I'm going to show y'all what I processed so far uh, when I get finished with this. These, these pineapples are going to be good. As a matter of fact, I'm going I'm to try a piece of this pineapple right here. Because this smells so good. And I know it's sweet because it smells really sweet. Okay. And this is the beautiful thing about when you're processing your juices. Mm-hmm. Mm. I bet the last one was much sweeter. And I feel a little sniffle coming on, so I'm probably gonna put a little shot of ginger in this. Shouldn't be able to taste it. But just because I'm feeling a little sniffle coming, we're gonna do a little ginger shot in this one. Just to knock out anything that may be coming. 
And plus, we're going to be around a bunch of strangers tomorrow and all week. And even, you know, be around family that, uh, you know, everybody got different germs. You know? So because of that, you got to really protect yourself and take care of yourself. So I am glad I'm doing this. Um, because... It's needed. It's a necessity. All right, so I'm gonna spray off my clean off, clean my uh, cutting board. Clean that real good. And the people that's gonna be staying here, I wanna make sure they got a good clean kitchen. So I'm gonna clean up the kitchen when I get there. Even though Jennifer's come in here and done a really good job at cleaning, that girl, that's one thing she can do. She can clean her butt off. And I tell you, I am not the cleaning person. I'm the mess up man. I'm the mess up man. I'm the mess up man. La da 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 da. I'm the mess up man. I'm sure Jennifer would say the same. But I try, you know, I really try. I try to clean, but. Yeah, it's not, I'm gonna tell y'all something, and I'm not being I'm not being uh, male chauvinistic or anything. It's nothing like when a woman puts a woman's touch on stuff. There's there's something about a woman's touch. When a woman puts a woman's touch on it, and that can be cleaning or cooking or whatever, you know, and and, and men, men can men can do the same thing, but it's something about when a woman put a woman touch on it. Ooh. Now I look at this kitchen right now. Now I call myself coming here cleaning. That girl came in here. She cleaned this dog on the kitchen to the point where you can like eat off everything. And I appreciate her for that because she know I'm not the one. I am not the, 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 no. I try. I try my hardest. She like, babe, can you, can you clean the kitchen for me? I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Came in here and do it. Did it. She came right behind me. Polished it off. Okay, so we got almost a good juicer. <laughs> okay, here we go. Y'all want to see me juice? All right, I'll let y'all watch me juice. So we're gonna do our, our soft stuff first. We're gonna do the grapes. How about that? Do the grapes first? Yeah, why not? I've always I already watched watched them. So this juice should be really really good because I have an over. I'm putting in more grapes um, than called for, so this juice should be the bomb. That's come. It should be real real good. Cause uh, and these green grapes have been in the refrigerator probably like going on two weeks now. So they're good and cold, and not only they're cold, but you know, they're very ripe, which means they're ready. They are ready. Sometimes you get the stems or whatever, and get you know, it's okay to juice the stems. Sometimes they'll get caught up in there. But the reason why I keep turning it on and off is when you do grapes, you want to make sure that your machine is off, especially if you're doing using a centrifugal juicer, because I have grape stains on the top of my ceiling right now because, because of me dropping grapes off in there as I was you know juicing, and that's not the best way to do it. So we're gonna do a little pineapple. It's 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 soft. I mean it's normally hard, but I'm not gonna do the cores yet. Alright, now I'm gonna do some grapefruit. Turn that bad body off because it's starting to splatter. And I don't wanna I don't want splatters everywhere, especially with my wife cleaning this kitchen. I don't wanna hear her fuss at me about it. Cause I'm sure I'm gonna clean up afterwards, but she's gonna be like, you didn't clean up good enough, blah, 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 blah. And I don't wanna hear the blah, blah, blah part, you know? Y'all understand, right? Especially the men that watch, y'all understand. Okay, that 
was a bunch of grapefruits, oranges. I'm gonna do more oranges right now. I wish I had another grapefruit. I'm gonna juice, juice that too. I'm just hoping I can make like two liters. If I can get two liters out of this, which I should, because I did three pineapples. Pineapples make pretty good, decent amount of juice. And I love pineapple juice. This is probably my favorite juice that we do. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. It tastes delicious. And, uh, you know, it's really healthy. It's really good for you, too. Okay. Well, here we go. I'm going to go get that shot of ginger ale. Ginger, what I would recommend, unless you love ginger, only use like a thumb. Mm, oh, this ginger is, wow, we haven't used this ginger in a long time. I gotta cut this. Okay, no problem. All right, so use like a thumb. And since I'm doing it for two people, that's that's probably gonna be where y'all, right there. Okay, that's about a, the size of a thumb. I'm just gonna drop that off in there. And I'm going to throw in some pineapple with it to just make sure it gets, you know, fully juiced. Because ginger something else. It's a, it's a hard, um, this ginger is a herb. I guess it's hard. And because it's hard, you want to send it through with something else. Or you want to send something in after it to help push it through. Okay, make sense? Let's see what happens. Oh, it smells wonderful. Oh my. I have forgotten how good it smells, but it has such a strong taste. I don't particularly care too much for it, but you know, we're trying, we, we're going to get these ginger shots here. Save all the cores for last because they're going to be the hardest to, to juice. Still doing pineapple right now. Container, which is beautiful. Looks like we're going to have close to a full container. Okay, now we're going to turn it on high so we do the core of the pineapple. have a little more to do uh, but because I'm doing a whole bunch of ingredients tonight it's getting full so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the take the pitcher off I'm gonna stir it up and I'm gonna pour some out of here uh, to make sure that I don't waste because I hate wasting and you know fruits and veggies cost too much money to be wasting y'all do understand that I know so we're gonna stir it up real quick y'all can't see me stirring oh boy I'm sorry I'm sorry you can't see me stirring. But you saw it. Y'all just, just saw it in 3D. And I always try to clean as I go. Alright, so I'm going to pour some of this out. 
I put it in a glass so y'all can see how pretty it is. Such a pretty juice. I'll do a little taste test in front of y'all. Okay, I'll give y'all a different angle too. How about that? Mmm, isn't that beautiful? Wow. The hint of ginger is perfect with the grapefruit. But it's not overpowering, which is what I was looking for. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. So I'm gonna juice the rest from this perspective. I'm gonna pour a little bit more off. <clears throat> and I'll put this right here for you guys, okay? Y'all can have that, y'all drink that, okay? I normally would put compost all of the pulp that's in here, normally. However, listen to me. Because my composting pile is full and I haven't turned it in like a month, I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. I just can't do it, okay? So for those of you who are like, oh my God, he's throwing away the pulp. Yeah, I'm gonna throw away the pulp this time. Actually, I'm going to actually, no, I can't do it that way. I don't wanna put it in the pipe. You know what y'all? I'm gonna take it out there and compost it anyway. Because I just I just can't bring I can't bring myself to put it down the drain and I can't bring myself to send it to the dump because it's gonna end up in a bad place. So I'm going to once I clean this I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the trip outside and I'm gonna go put this in the composting bin. Alright? Y'all got me? And I love I love this I love cleaning well I ain't gonna say I love cleaning this uh this juicer but it's it's not that hard to clean compared to some some juices some juices are really hard to clean um, I'm just gonna clean it real quick with my a little brushy duty so 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 and everything then when I get up I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it air dry and then when I get up when I get ready to leave I'll put my juicer together and if my mother-in-law wants to use the juicer while she's here, she's got a good clean juicer that she can use. That's already clean and ready, right? Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Y'all get it. So, why should you juice? Well, you, can, you should juice for, for several reasons. A lot of people go on juice feast or juice fast, and by doing juices, you can use it as meal replacements, and it gives your body, your digestive system, a break, and it, it constantly replenishes your system where you're getting nutrients, and it's not hard to do this, you know, like water. Water fast, oh my God, water fast is tough. But you can do a juice fast or a juice feast and the, the biggest thing about doing juices, especially if you do it for a long period of time, you get, you get tired of not being able to chew. So that's why a lot of times you should chew your juices and chew your food until they are juices. <laughs> All right? You'll get, you'll get tired of not juicing before you even get, you know, get to the point where you want to, you feel like you just want to eat. Because when you're juicing, if you're juicing, enough, if you're juicing a gallon of juice a day, you won't have a problem. Because you'll be, you'll be full. And 
you'll st you'll start losing weight, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Oh yeah, that's a great weight, great weight of losing weight. Awesome. So this is all the pup that was left over from everything. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do with this? And you could really eat this, or you can run it back to the juice if you want to. I'm not gonna do all that. Cause I see my, my juice, my pulp is, is still wet, which means even though I tried to juice as slow as I could possibly could, I really want a better juicer. So if any companies are out there, if you want you want to sponsor us and you want to send us a really nice juicer, hint, hint, wink, wink, uh, by all means, contact us. We'll be glad to use your juicer and tell us exactly how we feel about it. And I know uh, sponsorships will come. I know that for a fact. We'll see. Uh, I would love to have a really nice juicer. Wink, wink, hint, hint. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to clean these bowls. And it's, juice, it's always juice left over here. That was, um, that was like grapefruit and pineapple juice right there. Okay, so I'm going to clean this real quick. Ta -da. Ta -da. I like using glass because um, uh, you're not really getting any contaminants. That was straight pineapple, which makes sense because that was the, the bowl I had the pineapple in. Kind of sour though, like it had some grapefruit in it. Maybe I had some grapefruit in that. Well, that cord, that cord fell off more than it scared me to almost death. I almost jumped up out of here. Alright, so I'm gonna be chilling for nice. These other jars. Oh well, yeah, let's see one. Let's see how much juice we got. And I always pour the froth off of Jennifer's. She doesn't like the froth. So I pour hers off. I'll drink, I'll drink mine with the froth. It doesn't bother me. I give her a little glass straw so she can be cute with it. So she can be, and see, it's a, it's a total difference in juices. This is juice without froth. This is juice with froth. You see, they even have a, two totally different colors. Okay. Same juice. Glass straw. This is going to be my honey. I don't know, she's kind of weird, so... She like, I'm gonna show y'all how she likes to drink hers, okay? Mm. That ginger is really setting that off too. Jennifer's a weirdo. She likes to drink her juice. Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. Hi, I'm Christina. Where we explore preparing for the last days through Bible prophecy and current news. Now, back to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. everybody welcome to heart speak warrior farm okay. i have jennifer right here with me isn't it amazing how she's doing a video but she's right here with me so what i want you guys to do come check out plant-based homestead prepper when you finish keep watching heart speak warrior farm <laughs> but subscribe 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 to both channels hi i'm christina and you are watching plant-based homestead prepper subscribe 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 hey guys it's jennifer chappelle with heart speak warriors forum i hope you're enjoying all of the edutainment that you're getting right here on plant-based homestead prepper with my honey roderick chappelle when you're done pop over to my channel at heart speak warriors forum where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories hope to see you guys there